Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Mark's Gourmet Kitchen. So today we're preparing another South African recipe and it's something absolutely delicious. It's got some curry, some mince, onions, garlic, chilies, every, all that goodness. It's called babuti. So in this video I'm going to take you through preparing the mince, the curry mixture with all the spices and all that lovely stuff and also how to prepare the custard we add to the mince before we bake it in the oven. Ingredients are simple, prep time to finish time, it'll take you about 50 minutes to an hour. Quick for the family, you can even serve it with some bread or any side dish that you want. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you do, drop a like down below, comment and subscribe. Let's get cooking. First step, let's start chopping onion. You can just use one whole white onion, it'll be ideal to, for a serving of about four people. I'm gonna get them into nice square little cubes. It's just gonna be a bit easier to cook and to mix into the mince as compared to where they longer like this. They're gonna create quite a few strands. Okay, perfect. Onions all chopped up. Now at this point you could chop up one green chili if you'd like. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate four garlic cloves, crush them up, and we can add it to the onion mix before going to our oil inside our pan. I normally try and stack it as full as possible. Reason being is if you don't do that, it normally gets stuck inside the garlic press. So here we go. Like I said, at this point you can go ahead, chop up a green chili, add some jalapeno if you want. In my spice mix I'll be adding some cane pepper. We've added some sunflower oil, you can use vegetable oil, any type of oil you want. Add it to our pan, about half a cup, and then we'll go ahead, add our onions first. Get them nice and brown with our garlic. As I said, you can add some chili to the mix if you like. At this point, you can go a bit crazy. You can add your own spices here and there, anything you like, a specific flavor you'd enjoy, just go ahead and add it to the onions before you go ahead and uh, add your mince to the mix. So yes, our oil's heated up now. Let's move on to preparing our mince meat. Let's add our onion and garlic mix. You can see I've got a designated curry spoon because we are going to be using some turmeric later and it spoons all your wood. It stains all your wood. Okay, so let's go ahead and give this a nice mix. We can turn the heat down a bit. You don't want to burn the onions. Get that garlic spread out nicely. Okay, at this point, let's add some black pepper, some fine table salt, about one teaspoon. We'll add more salt and stuff later when we do the, the mince, before we add the mince. And also, just a slight pinch of cane pepper. Leave our onions for about three minutes, get nice and brown, then we'll add our mincemeat. Great stuff. Onions have got some color. You can see the brown coming through nicely. We don't want to burn them. Let's add our mincemeat. So I'm using 500 grams of, you can use full fat beef mince or like 80 20 or even lean beef mince. It doesn't really make a difference. So, but obviously um, they say fat is flavor, so the fat here, the mince. I'm assuming the better it will taste. Okay. About 
about three minutes in, I'll be back with you guys and we'll go ahead and add our seasoning and our spices like our curry, the masala, turmeric powder and some bay leaves. Great, our mince has been on the stove for about four, four minutes now. We'll add one teaspoon of turmeric powder, one tablespoon of A1 masala mix, and one teaspoon of chili powder. During this point, we'll also add a few bay leaves. All right, we'll cook it for about another five or six minutes. Get all the flavor infused. At this point, you'd add some more salt and pepper to taste. Just grab a teaspoon, grab a bite of it, and decide what you want. Um, yeah, so the bay leaves are ideal. It'll give some nice flavor to this mix. Let's leave it for another few minutes. While our mincemeat is busy fi finishing up, um, we're just gonna add to a cup to make the custard mix. Well, it's called a custard mix. It doesn't actually look like custard. Um, we're gonna add two large eggs and about 700 mils of milk, which we're gonna add to the mince once we take it off the stove. Two large eggs. Grab our whisk, give this a nice mix. Okay, there's no more yolk left. Everything mixed in. Our mince is all done. We've prepared the custard. Let's grab our casserole. Very simple from here. We'll go ahead, add our mince mix to our casserole. Okay, my casserole is a bit big. I do know that. I didn't have a small one for today, so normally you'd want it about that size, but we'll make this work. Now to this mix, I'm going to add our custard mixture, which we just prepared with the two whole eggs, of the two large eggs and um, the milk. I've also gone ahead and preheated our oven. To this now, we'll add a few bay leaves to the top, add some more flavor. And there we go. This will go into the oven now for about 30, 35 minutes. And I'll see you guys when it's done. And there we go. A delicious bogoti. Now you'll see it makes all of this excess fat on the top. That's where bread comes in. You can grab some bread, skim off all the fat off the top and throw it into the oven for about another five or six minutes. It'll dry it out completely. Um, I'm probably gonna do that off camera because I'll probably be doing that later. smell is absolutely amazing. Jeez, you can smell the bay leaves, all the lovely curry spices and well, it does smell great. I'm gonna let this cool down quickly for a few seconds before I burn my face off <laughs> and then we'll give it a bite. Alrighty, perfect. So you can see I pulled, I pulled off the excess oil, some plain white bread. I'm just going to fry that in a pan and we'll have it later. No big deal. Okay, so that's all done. Our bubuti should be cooled down a bit now. Look at that. Let's give it a bite. That tastes <coughs> spicy, not gonna lie. 
but it's so. <coughs> 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 That tastes so spicy, but it's so good. Oh my goodness. Combined with the bread, the babuti casserole mix, it's absolutely great. There's a few things I'll change in the future, or maybe cover it in a future video. If you guys, if you guys did enjoy today's content, please remember to drop a like down below, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.